This is the plaintiff, Francisco Ramos. He says he used to work for the defendant at his telephone repair shop. And the guy not only stiffed him on wages, but he also sold him a refurbished phone, which he pretended was brand new. The defendant's as sneaky as they come. The guy owes him $1,500, and he's suing him here and now for every last penny of it. This is the defendant, Eddie. He says he never told the plaintiff he was getting a brand new phone. He was just trying to help the kid out by getting him his first phone, and he knew it was refurbished. As far as lost wages go, the kid never worked for him. He feels bad for the plaintiff, tried to help him out, and this is what he gets, a lawsuit. He's accused of taking advantage. All parties, please raise your right hands. You see it? Go to order, please. Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Francisco Ramos, you are suing Eddie. You've asked us not to mention your last name or uh, the, the name of your company. You're actually suing his company. Um, what kind of company is it? Uh, cell phone repair shop. Okay. For $1,500 that you say he should pay you for breaching a contract to pay you for your services and provide you with a new cell phone. Tell me what happened. <clears throat> Hi, uh, yeah, so um, I, I just started working for him in the summer. I just graduated high school and he started to do. So, so, so he decided to hire me. But um, How much were you making? Um, $100, and I was working 72 hours a week for 100 why? Okay, but that's illegal, and why Why was... Well, my, because I'm in college now. I go to Naugatuck Valley in Waterbury. The, 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 the original plan was to, to get an actual job. So he and I had a verbal agreement. We were to be on, paid under the table? Unfortunately, yes, Your Honor. Okay, and you were going to get paid $100 for working yeah. 72 hours? Yes, Your Honor. Doing what? Uh, of cleaning the store, passing out cards, how, advertising. How dirty is the store that it has to be? Okay. But, but, but bringing in business. I went to the bank, made deposits for him. I would go to Family Dollar. I would do everything he tells me. All right. And so during the course of your employment, how long did you work? How many weeks did you work there without getting paid? Because uh, according to you, you never got paid. Right? Right. Uh, uh, that was only five weeks. Like, 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 like but if you're the supposed end, to be making beginning. $100 for 72 hours, how come the first week when you don't get paid, you don't object? Um, oh, Why oh, do you keep working? Oh, right. Because I ordered a Verizon Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge August 23rd, and the payments was going towards the phone. And how much was the phone going to cost? He told me 450. He said it was gonna be a brand new phone, and, and not to mention it's the wrong phone. Plus, there was already cracks on the phone, dents. This is how it came. So that's how I knew it was used already. Okay. Also Can you pass the phone up, please? All right. So, do you have any paperwork for your order for the phone to begin with, or it was all just um, talk between the two? Oh nope. I have the papers right here. Who are the ladies there? Um, yes, um, this is Martha Media Villa. This is my mother. Okay. Is this an Edge or is this not an Edge? It's, it's supposed to be a Galaxy S6 Edge, but he gave me an S6. So from the start, it's the wrong phone. Right, And when, but when you got it, why didn't you say that's not the phone I want? Why do you have the phone if it's not the right phone? Why didn't you say, no, wait, wait, this, this order came in wrong. Get me the Edge. Oh, right. But, but because since I ordered this August 23rd, I'm, uh, uh, I'm like, well, well, and now this is October 20th, I'm getting the phone. I'm like, you know what? He says he finally, finally got me a phone. Let me just take it, work with it, and see, and see how it goes. But within the first month, the phone broke down. It wouldn't charge to the next day, and my line was suspended. How is my line suspended when I paid my bill? It's because it turns out uh, I went to Verizon in the mall. He bought it off of eBay, and the IME code is different as well. Come on up, Mom. Talk to me. Okay. So um, I told him to give him the money back. We want the money back. Okay, but before so, the, the, we want the money back happens way afterwards. So you did know he was working there over the summer. Yeah, he was working there over the summer, but it was supposed to discontinue once he started college. Okay, but and if you knew he was working, did you know how much he was getting paid? Yeah, $100 a week. Okay. But and did I you, didn't know that it was to the extent of that many hours because Francisco, Francisco tends to take off. He likes to stay busy, you know? So he was going and he was doing all his hours there in the store. Francisco has a disability that- I'm sorry, that, did Francisco- Okay, go ahead. Francisco has a disability, go ahead. He has a disability that he doesn't catch common sense and, and, and he doesn't like- 
He wants to do everything. He thinks Is there a he, diagnosis like, or no? He has um, ADHD and a, um, a certain type of Asperger. Okay. He's had eight brain surgeries. So oh. his mind is not all like, he's smart, he's going to college, he's doing his thing, but he won't catch somebody taking advantage of him, which is not what this gentleman did. Okay, but, but back up then. If he worked there all summer, he started when? Uh, I believe it's July 15th. Okay, it's not all summer. All right, so he, when he started July 15th, on that week, didn't you expect him to get 100? Yeah, he like, was. Because he's your son, and so you don't want him taken advantage of, you know, for no, the- No, but he was. He was getting paid So he would get, he had cat. To... He, so, all right. So he was getting paid in the beginning. Yes, he was. All right. he was and then at some point, week. he wasn't getting paid because it was, quote, going towards the phone. Yes. All right. And according to you, how many weeks did you not get paid because it was, quote, going towards the phone? I believe five weeks, Your Honor. Are you sure? Positive. You handed some cash over, according to you, right? Um, Yeah, 248 so that I worked off the other. Okay, so according to you, though, cash, $248 in cash went there, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And then you were supposed to work off how much more? Uh, well, <clears throat> well, 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 he's How only, much was the phone going to cost? He was only charging me 450 So you were supposed to work two more weeks. So if you were only supposed to work for him for two weeks to work it off, right? Because if you gave him 248 and you then and you owe him another what, two hundred dollars? If it's four fifty, then then you work two more weeks to work it off. You kept working for three more weeks in the two weeks? You kept working three yeah. more weeks? Unfortunately, yeah, because I had to keep, um, he, um, he, he wanted me to just keep working for him until the phone came, man. So so that I kind of, after that, I kind of thought I was gonna right, what's start going to start getting the money, but. What's going on? Hey, how you doing, Your Honor? Um, a lot of things. Um, first, Francisco never worked for us. Um, we did help him out with a phone. Um, I, what does I, never worked for us mean? He never worked for us. We never paid him to work for us. That Meaning what? You paid him under the table. No, even under the table. We paid. We didn't pay him. And basically what he did was he came in here because he wanted to get a cell phone. You know, I, I considered him a friend at that time. And, I, and Francisco was supposed to start working for us. Um, that's 100% true. Um, but the mother came in. She explained to us that he's on SSI and that he's not allowed to work because he would have to report that to SSI and therefore that income will lose the money that he was supposed to be getting from SSI. So when all that happened, my brother, who's co-owner, basically told me, Eddie, don't hire him because what's going to end up happening is you're going to get yourself in trouble. So I didn't hire him. There was some rumors going around at the time um, that was brought to my attention that I didn't like. So I confronted Francisco about, and I asked Francisco I don't know what about. you're saying, but you need to say what you're saying because I don't deal in that. So basically, Francisco was offering sexual favors to get money so that he can buy this phone. When I heard that, it kind of it kind of made me upset because I have a disabled daughter at home and I just don't like people getting taken advantage of. So I talked to Francisco about it, um, as well as some of the staff members. Um, and he basically said, you know, he started crying, said he just really wanted a phone. His mother wouldn't let him buy a phone. So I said, Francisco, your mom says that you technically can work here, you know, when you're not in school. So how about we do this? How about whatever cash you have, you give me, and then for the next couple of weeks, you know, you pass out cards for me and I had a brochure because I just opened downtown and pass them around from to work and to school and so on. So that it'll it'll help me move my business and as well get you some your phone that you're looking for. So he said, OK, that's fine. We can do that. So I took the two hundred dollars. I ordered the phone. OK, the phone. Two hundred and forty eight. No, he gave me two hundred dollars the first time. OK. Um, did he ever give you the other 48? He did give us the, for the store $48. So the total amount that he gave the store was 248 Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And um, the total cost of the phone, you were ordering it from where? I ordered it from eBay. He's 100% correct okay. about that. And was Be it a refurbished phone? It's always refurbished. That's all I sell is mostly refurbished. I have a cell phone repair shop. So anything that comes in. Now, when he ordered that phone, that technical phone, um, that phone just came out. So, you know, for me to buy a brand new phone, it's going to be over seven, eight hundred dollars for me. And I'm not going to give him a brand new phone because, you know, he's really he only had two hundred dollars and there's not that much work he can actually do for me because technically he ain't supposed to be working. Who the are mall. the people who are with you? One is your brother who co-owns. One's co -owns my brother's and a co-owner and she's the manager that actually took the uh, the payment from him, explained to him about everything. OK, talk to me. What's your name? Samantha Lance. Okay, can you uh, explain to me what discussions you had with the plaintiff about the phone? Well, I just took his payment and um, I was I had the understanding that he was just supposed to pass out cards for the two weeks to make payment 
other than that, like he pretty much dealt with Eddie with it. I just wrote his receipts out and that's it. Okay. Did you ever talk to him about the phone he was ordering? Um, yeah, he ordered the edge, but when it came in, he wanted the, he wanted the edge, but he initially didn't want to wait for that, for the phone to come in. So he took it. That so he, same wait day. a minute, hold on. He took the what? The one that's not an edge, the he one that's in my hands. He took the Galaxy S6. Right. right. Um, Francisco, you, you end up with the phone. So at some point you must say, all right, I accept this phone because you are the person who ends up with the phone. So why is it now that you want your money back for the phone? Because it's the wrong type of phone, which you knew when you accepted it and took it. And because it's cracked, which you're saying it was cracked from the beginning, all that stuff you know when you say, I'll take it. So why is it that you are entitled to your money back now? The first reason why I decided to take it, because remember, as I've stated, I ordered since August 23rd. And, 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 and bottom line is, if, when you order anything off of any websites, it, it's only like a week or maybe two weeks if the order gets backed up. Not two months, 60 days and waiting for my sixth edge. And might I add, as I was working there, he was doing sexual, trying to get sexual behavior to me. Um, as I was working there, like when I'm doing stuff in the store, whenever females would go in, he, he, he wasn't trying to go too much detail, but I respectfully saying I'm a virgin because I'm going to college, but he was just trying to have me experience some of that stuff with all the ladies. And I have my witness to testify for that, that he was trying to get me to hook up with other females. Is that when, what you meant when you said sexual? Um, yes, okay. that, that, that's what I meant when I was working there. And, and I'm like, no, I don't want that. I just wanted to work to, to, to pay off this phone. And it ended up being the wrong phone. Okay, but you, I was just okay hold on one second. Okay. Do you understand what, what sexual favors means? Like, in other words, do you understand? Um, like, um, he wasn't trying to get you to do something for payment, right? You're just saying he was encouraging you, hey, hey, maybe that girl will, you know. Wait, wait, no, she was actually, he was that, and he was actually trying to get the girls to come on me. And, and, and so he, but, no, he was, but not for money, not for money. Well, well, no, 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 not okay. for money, all just right, for pleasure. Right, he even right, did it right. with the store manager. I'm like, no, I just want to do my job and get the right phone. But none of that never ended up happening. Okay. Um. The stuff you were telling me that that you can't use this phone because it. Well, tell me that part again. Uh, um, the IME code on the phone does not match the box. Oh, if you look, it, so so the, you can't use a phone. No, I cannot. My Do you have anything was, from Verizon that says that? Unfortunately, no. okay. it's, it's right. not with me. Yeah. I also have some stuff I want to show you. What's the you nature? Of, can may I ask you? Say I, it again. What is the nature of your daughter? You said you you had a disabled daughter. Yeah, my daughter. She's epileptic, um, and she has cancer. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Now he's okay. also suing you for $500 in lost wages for five weeks at $100 a week from mid-July through November. What is your answer to that? Uh, he didn't work for me. Okay, was there ever a time when you were paying him for doing the odd jobs he was doing? Honestly, I would feed him. So what, would, what were you doing? You were just having him hang around the store for months and Honestly, months I was trying to help the kid, all right? How? How were you How helping? Every single time he came into school, because when he was going to school and, and he has a little lo a learning disability, I would sit down with him and help him with his math. I mean, not his math, I'm sorry, his uh, computer work, because he took computer classes. I sat down with that kid. I did everything for that kid. And, and when he needed clothes, I even gave him a shirt from my store. You know what I mean? I did everything for this kid. And for this kid, for you even to sue me for that, it's just, it's crazy because I did nothing but good for that kid. Okay, I want to ask you now, Samantha, was it your understanding that, he, you know, he, he would get a little money here, a little money there for kind of taking out the garbage and running errands and stuff like that? They, he was supposed to just pass out cards to work In off order the cell for what? phone. To work off the balance of the Did phone. Did any money ever go from here to there? I didn't see it. Okay. Did you know about it, though? Like no, that he was getting $100? That's, that's not my place. That's between those two. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So plaintiff says, uh, you know, I want my money back. It was cracked. But he saw what it was when he got it. Can he turn around and undo the deal? No. Why? Because he already, it was his phone. Like he paid for the phone and he. He paid for the phone, but he says, I don't want a phone with a crack, but he did. But he saw it was cracked. So it's his fault for taking it when he knew it was cracked. You all agree with that? Yes. He should, yeah, he totally. should have, he should have checked it out before he paid for it. You're all agreeing. Totally. I like the fact that you all agree. Oh, really? Yeah, I think there should be like a, a courtesy window for the, someone to actually have, uh, a, you know, base a warranty, 48 hours. A cooling off period. Agreed. Got your point, going inside the courtroom. Had you ever heard that he was paying him $100 a week? It's important because I have a lawsuit about money that wasn't paid. And no. if that's the case, then money money's owed because they had this verbal contract between them I need to know about. I, no, I did not. 
So what did you think this guy was doing there for eight weeks, nine weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it was that he was always He at was the store. really like, he would mostly be in store for like a half hour, 45 minutes. A day? He, yeah, he would take out the garbage and then he would be in and out passing out carts. Like, and was that each day? For the two weeks, yeah. Just for two weeks? Yeah. How many weeks though was that guy there doing what you said? Because it wasn't two weeks, it was- I just started in August, like towards the end of August. I, I worked okay. in a different job. So, right. I, so oh, I was there to take his payments. Do you remember when the phone came in, this one? Yeah, it came in September, the end of okay. September. And then when the phone came in, did he continue to hang out at the store and pass out cards and do all that no, stuff? No, he did not. He left, he never came back after that. Okay. Yeah. Yana, can I say so? No, we're done. Look. The problem that you have is we have a contract here, okay? And a contract requires two sides being very, very clear on what's going on. And if there's an indication based on what I'm listening to that there's a, either a reason for the lack of clarity, be it the issues that we've described, or whether there's just a lack of clarity because the parties are not super clear, then that means that there is no contract and I rescind the contract and I put the parties in the position that they were in before the agreement. OK, clearly he thinks that he was supposed to get a brand new phone, you know, and it's not a brand new phone. It's not the thing he ordered. And because of the circumstances, the unique circumstances surrounding this, I hear you and I understand you when you say, you know, I was trying to be a good guy or whatever. But being a good guy might have more appropriately been limited to only, um, you know, passing out the cards and giving them a little cash, which I still think you're lying about or whatever. But when it morphs into selling Francisco in particular, a phone, then you better cross your T's and dot your I's and everything else because, um, because then you might have a judge say, I'm rescinding the contract, which is what I'm saying right now. I'm ordering you to pay him the $450 of the phone. I'm returning the phone to you. Um, I realize he didn't pay it, but he paid it in work. And therefore I am going to return this to you and order you to pay him the $450. As for the additional, um, I'm working, I'm not working, it's under the table, it's not under the table, I'm collecting SSI, I'm not supposed to work. No, he didn't work, yes he did. There's just an insufficient proof of the establishment of an employment contract for me to award him those lost wages, quote unquote. So the verdict is for the plaintiff in the amount of $450. And this phone goes back to you. That is my judgment. Good luck, folks. Okay. Right. Thank, you. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, a very interesting case with a lot of complex testimony. Uh, I'm, I'm prompted to ask you how you feel about it now. We can't go over the whole case again, but what's your reaction to the judge's decision? It was a tough case to yeah, decide. It, it was fair. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I, I've, I never had no issues with him. He's okay. a good kid. Very and good. I wish him luck. Thank you very much. You. you have some documents to sign out there. Francisco, if you'll step out here. Here comes Mr. Ray. You know, I must say one thing. I'm very, very impressed with the fact that you filed this case in court. Step up here a little bit for me. Oh, yes. And I want to know how you learned to do all of this. You brought documents to court that had been notarized. You did a lot to prepare for this. How did you know how to do this? Well, as good question. As the judge explained, when you have connections, you're always going to have people to back you up. I want to know how you learned how to bring this case to court. Have you been watching the People's Court? Absolutely. Judge Merlin Merlin is one of my favorite judges. And, and, and there's even a clerk from the co corner store on my block says he wants to marry him. Mar marry her, excuse me. <laughs> okay. But I'm like, okay, well, well you know, she, she does her thing. So. so you've learned from watching this proceeding, right? Yes, I have. Well, you're to be congratulated. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much. <laughs> you all must sign some documents out there, and that will bring the case to a close. Very interesting indeed. Harvey? Okay, Doug. So basically, the judge uh, said, look, there's no deal for the phone. So what the judge did was said, look, the plaintiff is entitled to money for the services that he actually rendered.